What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matto, and this is the Badass Times. Please, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and a share. Also, always leave me your thoughts in the comments. Today, we are checking out for the first time ever in my 34 years of existence. I am finally going to watch what many people consider the greatest horror film of all time. That is right, folks. A film that my parents themselves have said is the scariest movie they have ever seen in their life. That is The Exorcist. The 1973 classic. Beloved. Scaredified. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, horrified. Scaredified. That's not even a real word. What are you doing here, Matt? You're making up words. But, uh, yes. The Exorcist. The William Friedkin classic. It's time to watch it. Oh my God, if you're new to the channel, folks, please hit that subscribe button for me and join me on this awesome journey, which I'm going to be doing from for many years to come now. And once again, thank you to everyone so far that has supported the channel. We have recently crossed 1,000 subscribers, and it's growing nonstop. Also, just a reminder, folks, my Patreon campaign uh is live you can go find the link in the description of this video along with the link in the uh, main page of the youtube channel itself there you can go and you can join me uh not only you know the youtube is free it's always going to be free but the patreon is a way for you to help support the channel help support me and uh keep this channel growing and it's how you can get uh access to polls and uh, movie polls on uh, how we decide what movies we're going to watch next on the channel and along with that you can watch my full length reactions and exclusive reactions uh, soon I'm going to be doing uh, True Detective Season 1 on there uh, never watched the Season 1 I've actually seen Season 3 but never seen Season 1 of True Detective so really excited for that I will be doing uh, that full length that will be exclusive to the Patreon. So the only way you'll be able to watch that is through the Patreon and along with many other reactions on there. So, and many other cool things. We're going to kind of grow the community. There we'll be able to hang out. It'll be just kind of like a, you know, like a group of friends. And we'll be able to talk and discuss movies and stuff. But many things, uh, a lot of things happening over there. So go over there and check that out. Uh, it means a lot to me if you show your support uh, from the very lowest tier to the highest tier. It doesn't matter. Every little bit helps. Thank you. Thank you so much, friends. And uh, it is time for the scariest film of all time, The Exorcist. Let's do this. Okay, cold open. Scary sounding. Kind of ominous tune. What is this crazy music I'm hearing? So far, this looks really well shot. This almost looks like a modern-day movie, not a film made in 1973. It looks spectacular. Lamps, arrowheads, coins. Wait, I literally have no idea what The Exorcist is about. Ooh. Many people have told me, including my parents, that it is the scariest film of all time. So, really excited. Right now, I've got a uh, Indiana Jones vibe, feel to it. Some other movies I might watch for the channel. I've only ever seen um, pieces of Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom. Definitely have not seen Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Or, um, seems like I remember seeing some of the third one, the one with Sean Connery. But, can't really, I mean, I can't remember any of them. So, it's pretty much like I haven't seen them, you know. Now, that actor's playing older. I've seen him in other movies, and he looks that old, you know, in modern-day movies. I can't think of his name. It's not Peter O'Toole, I don't think. Although it may be. Crazy. And that would be a sucky, sucky job. I wish I could name this actor. Yeah, they've definitely got um, aging makeup on him. I am so impressed with how well made and modern this film looks. This is crazy. And it's directed by William Freakin. I know I've seen some of his other work. I cannot name it. He doesn't make a lot of films, at least not any anymore. See, I know a lot of names of filmmakers and producers and actors and screenwriters and stuff because uh, I took a lot of film classes in college and stuff. 
I mean, look at that cinematography right there. What a shot. What? What did they think? Who did they think was rolling up on them? Oh, wow. That, what a shot. What? Really? That was really odd. Now we're back in uh, Western civilization, Georgetown. I'm assuming Georgetown on the East Coast. Oh. So far for being what is, I've been told is the scariest film of all time, nothing really scary has happened. The sound design, once again, is beautiful right now. Oh, wow, they're filming a movie? This shows you how little I know about this film. What just happened? It's really weird. Wow, I am absolutely amazed at how well made this film is. I mean, the story hadn't even really started. This is all just set up. Ooh, that's a change. It isn't a great horror movie without some badass tunes. Okay, so it's Halloween. Getting some serious Michael Myers vibes right here. Or even, what did we watch recently? Nightmare on Elm Street? Another main character, I guess. How is this girl supposed to be? She looks, what, 12, 13, 14? Is the other girl her babysitter or older sister? I'm guessing babysitter, considering the interactions here. Okay. Another incredible, incredible shot selection. Fantastic. Ain't nothing cooler than um, 70s and 80s subways. Look at these streets. This, this looks like uh, New York City. Ping pong table. But what a sweet ass basement right there. Ouija board. It's never good when Ouija board shows up in a movie. This girl's already starting to creep me out. Awesome. Rambling man playing in the background. Damien. Okay, so he is in New York City. So he went back home to see his mother. I'm guessing these are the exorcists. They performed the exorcism. What an awful time. Oh my God. Why would she choose the middle of the night? by herself to go up there man if you guys keep suggesting movies that are this well made and that are horror i may become a horror buff i mean nightmare on elm street was good but it was you know low budget a little horror flick this movie is really well crafted really well shot well directed big budget so it's obviously not rats whoa what the fuck <laughs> oh man why would she not ask the question of why that flame just, you know, just blew up and then blew out? What? What was that? Just a needle. Now, what is she going to the doctor for? What? What was that? She just turned into a biatch. Why did she get such an attitude right there? She's starting to freak me out, people. I'm starting to freak her out, too. Doctors always think that medicine's the cure. It's crazy. Nice little house party here. wonder what astronaut he's supposed to be. I'm a huge space buff, too. After this October fest of horror movies, we're going to be checking out some sci-fi films I've never seen. What in the world? What the fuck? Now that was just creepy. Starting to get very interesting here. I imagine it's only going to get worse. What? What is happening? It is definitely not just her nerves. That's his mama. He's having a nightmare. Now they're going to do brain surgery? Oh man. She's not asleep. Something crazy is about to happen. Oh, I thought she was supposed to be unconscious. Are they going in through her throat? And that was a big ass needle. Oh my God. Oh. What is this? Oh, my hands just started uh, sweating right there. What in the hell? What in the world was that? The sound design of this film is absolutely incredible, folks. Or at least these headphones were a great buy. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. What in the world was that, folks? Keep her sedated. That was gnarly. Oh my god. What is this? Damn, this film is really impressing me, folks. Maybe the best movie I have seen in a long time. And it's not so much that it was scary right then, but the way they designed those scenes, they were just so jaw-droppingly creepy and weird. What is that vampire creature? Do you see him on the stove? Why would there not be someone here watching this girl? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? <sighs> Alright. Whoa. Dude, that just freaked me the fuck out. Somebody needs to give her some chapstick. Captain Jesus. Captain Howdy. That's who she was talking about. Okay. Oh my god. They're going straight into this. No time to relax. the world no one's ever described this movie being like this I mean, that's why people don't describe it yeah damien they're gonna need your help bro whatever it is you're good at <laughs> oh shit dude what is happening to her face i cannot believe i've waited 34 years to watch this classic so he was killed right outside so the steps that are right there are outside the girl's window so the guy, Bruce, the director, who came and visited, was killed there and thrown down the steps outside the house. Just figuring all that out. That took a minute. Didn't realize he died right outside their house. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought she killed the mom right there. Holy fuck. Oh my god. What the fuck? Who or why would they come up with this? This is crazy. About time he showed up on the scene. Oh my god, it's just getting worse. Holy shit. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Get that son of a bitch. What is that? Help me. Dude, that, that music. <sighs> Scaring the shit out of me. Thank god I chose to watch this at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, wow. That's the shot. That's from the cover, the poster. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Be silent. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, this, this little girl is a good actress. I don't know if these guys are going to make it out of this room alive. Oh, shit. It's coming all the way out the floor now. Oh my god. In 1973, this had to blow people's minds. Oh, he's putting that back on. And he just kissed it, too. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <gasps> She's done got loose now. Throw that water on her. That girl's just about to explode. What a well made scene. Oh! Palms are sweating again. They just need to put this girl out of her misery. Oh, man. Just pour all that water on top of her. Oh, my God. She killed him? <laughs> the medallion. I did not see that coming. Holy shit. They saved her? The head detective is like, what the fuck happened? That's the demon now. It's not Damien. Hopefully he took the demon with him. Well, now I kind of want to see a sequel. Is there a sequel? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm not going to look it up. I'd be cheating. Let me know if I should watch uh, the sequel. I hope the girl's okay, though. They healed all those scars. Good for her. Most of them, anyway. Still got some marks. Stay away from those steps. Holy shit, folks. There it was. My reaction to The Exorcist. Now, that movie was fucked up. 
Excuse my French. I've cussed, I cussed a lot during that reaction, I think. Uh, depends on how I edit it. If you didn't see a lot of cussing, it means I edited it out. But you can see it over in the full-length reaction over on my Patreon campaign, which you can find the link in the description. But yeah, that movie, uh, the anticipation was was justified. The, the hype was justified, maybe I should say. Uh, was it as scary as it has been built up to be? Uh, for sure, it probably was, you know, up until the 1990s or something, or, you know, during that decade of the 70s that came out, it was probably for sure up there. But, yeah, Halloween, I consider still a much more scarier movie. Uh, props to John Carpenter for that. Uh, he will forever hold in my book the scariest movie of all time, which is Halloween, uh, 1978 classic. But William Freakin, uh, direct, the director of this film, uh, People don't talk about how well made, how well crafted this film is, especially the first, I'd say the first 80% of the movie is extremely well made. The The biggest letdown I have for me myself uh, was the, you know, the fi- the conclusion, the final battle between the priest and the, uh, and the demon. I thought that was kind of a lackluster finish, although I like the very end of that little scene. But like, there was a little moment there for about 10 minutes where I was just, yeah, and kind of, I don't know, I just got kind of bored with it or something. It's, it did, it wasn't as well crafted. It's like he didn't know how he was going to, you know, shoot all that and didn't know how it was going to go. Uh, but, yeah, besides that, what an awesome movie. The scene in the hospital, the first time they do that thing to her neck, whatever they did, that freaked me the fuck out for some reason. That, like, made made me feel so weird something about the sound design probably i bought that new headset uh so you know i wouldn't have to wear the little earplugs and it just sounds way better uh so i'll be using those from here on out but the sound design with the headset on was just scary as shit like that was freaking me out the whole time so yeah i loved everything about this movie uh it's gonna go into my i thought i thought at the beginning of it i may be able to put it in my top 100 films of all time don't know if it will reach that point like i said the ending was a bit of a letdown but overall the movie lived up to the hype it was pretty damn awesome and i think for the channel i'm gonna start doing something very cool and new to the channel uh from here on out uh on a separate video i'm not sure how often i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do rankings of all the movies that i've watched and I'm not sure how I'm going to categorize or anything, but I'm going to try to start having some kind of ranking. And also, this will be the first video with all my Patreon supporters up on the channel. Uh, thank you to uh, to everyone over there. In fact, I'm going to read out your names right now because you are the first Patreon supporters. I also have your name coming down right here at the end of the video as I read it out. Uh, let me... Big thanks to... Uh, Hope I'm not. Hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Seek Caruso, Drake Smith, um, Matthew Grant, and let's see, Kevin Sheely. I think that's how you say it. Sheely, S C H L E I. But thank you guys uh, for being the first Patreon, uh, the members of my Patreon campaign, and. Uh, Hopefully more of you will join over there and we'll grow this community. Uh, I'm going to have a little kind of always open discussion over there on the Patreon campaign. You can let me know what movies you want want uh, me to watch. I may not get to all of them. Uh, there is a tier where if you join that tier, I will watch any movie you want every month. Just at, no matter if I've seen it or not. So, And I'll re- do a full reaction to it and we'll even have an open discussion about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for the support, and thank you all. You don't have to be a Patreon uh, member just to support my channel. Just by subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting below. I uh, love the the huge discussion everyone has on this channel uh, below in the comments. It's been blowing my mind how much support and how much uh, kind of a group of people we've kind of assembled here. It's just so many of y'all are enjoying uh, watching my reactions. So many more to come. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Go to the Patreon. The link is in the description. Join that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.